Today, we're going to make this easy to customize picture wall. A couple months ago, I built this customizable living Instagram wall thing on my personal channel, Four Eyes Furniture. It was nice and we liked it, but I immediately thought of a couple things I could have done to improve the design and to make it a little bit more upscale. So the first thing I wanted to change was the wood species. I wanted to use something with a little less contrast against the wall. Now, if you want to build this, and assuming you don't have a planer and a jointer, you're going to want to look for S3S or S4S lumber. Without getting too technical, that just means that the wood has already been surfaced, or basically cleaned up, on both faces and at least one of the edges. You can find some species, usually poplar and oak, at the big box stores, but for fancier species, try looking for a local hardwood retailer or search around online for a company that can deliver. The wood isn't cheap, but you don't need much for this project. I started off by cross-cutting my piece to length. I'm gonna use 64 inches, but you could use whatever makes sense for your wall. If you don't have a table saw with this much capacity, you could use a miter saw or a handheld circular saw. Or, if you're up for it, your elbows. Next, rip your pieces into some narrow strips. I cut mine to about an inch and a half. You could go narrower or wider though, depending on the look that you want. In total, I could cut five strips out of my board, but I actually only needed four for the design. Once you have all of your pieces, lower the blade of your table saw so that it's just slightly protruding into the workpiece. I set mine for right around an eighth of an inch above the surface of the table saw. Then you can cut a groove down the length of the piece. You can see here in the background that I'm checking to see if my mat board pieces will fit into the groove. If it does, and it should, then you're good to proceed. Now just repeat the same process for all of the edges on your pieces. Technically you don't need a groove on the bottom of the bottom piece or the top of the top piece, but I wanted options when I was going to install this on the wall, so I just did both sides of every piece. Next I sanded everything with 80 grit, then 120 grit, and finally 180 grit sandpaper and then applied two coats of wipe-on poly. You could really use any finish that you want for this since it's gonna be up on the wall and not get a lot of abuse. And finally I installed the pieces on the wall. Here I'm just using a finish nailer. These things hardly weigh anything, so you don't need a ton of holding power. You can see I spent some time making sure that my first piece was on nice and level. Then I made these two spacer blocks that fit into the grooves. I cut them just slightly longer than my map board is gonna be. We're talking like a sixteenth of an inch probably. Basically, just enough so that the mat board fits and can slide without binding, but can't fall out on its own. For my pictures, I found an online store that sells pre-cut mat board that are 10 inches square on the exterior, and they have a five and a half inch square opening. Obviously, you could buy or make your own mat board in any size that you want. You just have to keep a consistent vertical dimension so that everything fits properly between the rails. And that was pretty much it. I like this version quite a bit more than the first one. I think it blends in with the wall more naturally, and the map board highlights the pictures more. Especially once I start using some actual family photos instead of these placeholder drawings. Overall, I think it has a much more upscale feel than my initial version did. And putting the groove in the center of the wood, rather than in the back, means that no matter how uneven or textured your walls are, there's no fear of the pictures falling out. For more information, click the links in the description box below. Be sure to check out our Instagram to see what we're working on next, and make sure you've subscribed to this channel if you haven't already. This has been Chris from Four Eyes Furniture for Dwell Made. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.